<laughs> I'm a spooky. Yeah. <laughs> I wish. Hi, guys. I wish I could. <laughs> and if I can find it, I may put it up on Pursuing <laughs> Love's deal. And it's this meme. Well, it's a gif. A gif? And, or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, it is this big male gorilla. <laughs> this is me and Mike. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a big male gorilla and a little mama gorilla. And this guy, this big gorilla <laughs> goes around poking, poking until she'll turn around and she'll slap at him. Yeah. And he'll sit there and look around and he'll poke at her again. <laughs> yeah. If I can find it, I'm going to put it up on. I know who, I know where we can find it. I've seen that. We'll get it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We do a lot of that. That's what we do. We. He picks and pokes at me. <laughs> just to get to a reaction. The point where I just want to go. <laughs> <laughs> Have a meltdown. Yeah. <laughs> well, it gives her something, something to do while she's thinking. Really? About, yeah. You yeah. think I need something to do? I don't know. Sometimes it, you kind of, you jump right on it. And other times it takes you a little bit. But I'm always looking for a reaction. Do you know what he's done to me when we were driving down the road? <laughs> I'll be on my phone, or I'll be in some other. La La Land. In La La line. Land. And he will go <gasps> and slap his hands on the steering wheel. <laughs> and I just know that she, we are about ready to get in the wreck. She's, she's all about that. <laughs> oh, interactions. You know, God's put us together to have fun. Have fun. That's and I used to not be like this. I used to be nice and quiet. Yeah, she was quiet. Well, once in a while I got a little mouthy, but. Yeah, but it wasn't bad. Not, I mean, not before you. I mean, before you. Oh. I was, I wasn't mouthy. I didn't think I was. Anyway. <laughs> it's come out of you now. <laughs> I had oh, to. I'm glad. Right after we got married. <laughs> yeah. And he hit my croquet ball all the way down over the hill. <laughs> Go get it. <laughs> and laughed. <laughs> and did it in front of his mom and dad, and they're laughing too. And I'm like, yeah, that's it. She bumped my ball and knocked it about, oh, maybe two feet, if that. No, let me show that's you how this nice. is done. Let me show you how this is done. <laughs> Whap. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I go around, thing. go uh, through a door, and he'd be behind the door, and he'd go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you she hangs know. around for that stuff. <laughs> She's, she hangs around for it. She she thrives on it, cause I do. I know I do. Yeah. But he's got his back. Times. Yeah, it comes around. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what we got here. Are what are we ready? on? What are we into here today? Before I tell any more bad tales on you. <laughs> yeah, there's probably more. We're looking at uh, Ephesians 5, 19, and 20. Put two of these together. Okay. And this has to do with prayer. All right. A lot of it. So, see what we got. Hello, dear brothers and sisters chosen by the happy God. In looking at Unsearchable Riches, volume 98, page 278 and 79 by Robert G. Edwards. We see that trusting in God's ability to achieve his objectives in this administration is provided to us as a gift of his grace. Yep. You can find these at the Unsearchable Riches. You can find them on the uh, concordant.org website. So... They're in there if you want to find them. They're pretty here's a lot of them in there. This knowledge and trust should fashion the prayers that we offer toward God. The duty of trust for us is to seek things above where Christ is, according to Colossians 1, 1, 2, and 3. 
notwithstanding physical requests, <clears throat> the emphasis of on prayer during this era should be feature the spiritual accomplishments and blessings of God through His beloved Son. Yeah, God has placed His Spirit within us. We see that in Romans eight nine. We are always in His presence, and thus are equipped to communicate through prayer unintermittently with Him. Finally, it is the will of God for us who are in Christ Jesus to feature thanksgiving in all of our prayers. First Thessalonians, I can never get that right. First Thessalonians 5, 18. We above all others should be aware that God is in control of all. He has placed the purpose of the eons which he makes in Christ Jesus our Lord in our hearts. Ephesians three eleven. Along with the knowledge that the faith of Christ Jesus has guaranteed the outcome of God's Eonian purpose, Romans 3, 22, 24, and 26. There's a Greek word here, and I won't try to pronounce it, but it's translated thanks. It's the element of which signifies the well joy or well grace. I, can you pronounce that word? There's no way. C U spell it out. H. Arrestio? Arrestio? Arresto. Like, Arresto, something like uh, that. Anyway. The essential <clears throat> idea of the Greek word charis is not gratitude, as with the English thanks, but of favor, extended in, or, in order to bring joy to its recipients. Mm -hmm. The guidelines and content of prayer change from the administration of law to the administration of grace, as God's administration as administrative focus changes from law to grace. For our every circumstance is in God's control. He has blessed us to share in the victory that he has achieved in his beloved son. Truly, God provides for our every need. Yeah. Thus, we are to be thankful. Example, literally, are giving grace in everything. 1 Thessalonians 5, 18. And, example, for the sake of all things. And Ephesians 5, 20. In consideration of the needs of the entire creation, giving thanks for Romans eight twenty two. When we give <clears throat> grace, then to God in everything, in every situation in which we may find ourselves, including those which are full of suffering and sorrow, it is not that we are expressing our gratitude per se for even the worst of life's experiences considered in themselves. It is instead that. We are seeking to bring joy to God as we favor him with our trust in his purpose while relying on his love, knowing we rely on the living God who is the Savior of all mankind, especially believers in 1 Timothy 4.10. In Rob Wiles' video, Being Thankful, he points out that we have the living, breathing word of God in us. Yeah, that was a neat video to see. It, his video came out when we was putting this one together. It's like, Rob just done this. Rob just talked about this. So it was neat to see that. <clears throat> we see this in Romans 8, verse 9. Yet you are not in flesh, but in spirit. If so be that God's spirit is making its home in you. As our realization of God's spirit in us increases, we see his giving us all that we have. Life and breath and all, as we see in Acts 17.25. Including even the worst of life's experiences, full of suffering and sorrow. For in him we are living and moving and are, Acts 17.28. And because of this, we learn to fully rely on God, putting our complete trust in him alone. Yeah. We will experience his peace more fully in every situation. And our prayers will reflect the honor and glory of God and he alone deserves the primary factors which form the foundation of prayer remain constant throughout the eons and throughout God's administrations therefore thereof thereof yeah. excuse me they are provided for us by God he has achieved his purpose by the faith of his son <clears throat> for this administration in which we now live grace let us fashion our prayers upon his purpose and the administrative objectives of grace. Let us remain in the attitude of prayer at all times. Yeah. So we're looking at our verse here. Let me see here. Just a second. This little pup back here is whining. What do you got? Come here. Come here, pup. Come here. 
Come here. Let me see. Oh, there you go. She had to come up here. Fat dog. She's a little pup. This is Angel. See? See up here? There. See? <laughs> don't look at me. I She's don't down here you. whining. I don't know what she wants, but Probably she outside. needed some attention. All right. We'll be done directly. Go play. <laughs> there. Maybe that'll keep her. All right. So we're looking at Ephesians 5, 19 and 20, uh, which says, Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual song, singing and playing music in your hearts to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'll give you the dark side. <laughs> We got this in, in dark in bold print and light print. So First Corinthians fourteen twenty six. What then is it, brethren, whether you may be coming together, each of each of you has a psalms, has a teaching, has a revelation, has a language, has a translation. Let all occur to edification. Yep, it's all about edifying each other, building each other up. Ephesians five, one through four. Become then imitators of God as beloved children, and be walking in love, according as Christ also loves you, and gives himself up for us an approach present, and a sacrifice to God for a fragrant odor. Now all prostitution and uncleanliness cleanliness or greed, let it not even be named among you, according as it is become is becoming in saints. And violence and stupid speaking are in you in in you in those in you in those which are not prosper proper, but rather thanksgiving. Yeah, Colossians three fifteen through seventeen, and let the peace of Christ be arbitrating in your hearts, for which you were called also in one body, and become thankful. Let the world, the word of Christ, be making its home in you richly, in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs singing with grace in your hearts to go to god <laughs> yeah and everything whatsoever you may be doing in word or in act do all in the name of the lord jesus christ giving thanks to god the father through him first corinthians 1 4 through 9 i am thanking my god always concerning you over the grace of god which is being given you in christ jesus for in everything are you enriched in him in all expression all knowledge according as the testimony of Christ was confirmed among you so that you are not deficient in any grace awaiting the unveiling of our Lord Jesus Christ who will be confirming you also until the consummation unimpeachable in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ faithful is God who through whom you were called into the fellowship of his son Jesus Christ our Lord Philippians 1, 3 through 6. I am thanking my God at every remembrance of you, always in every petition of mine, for you all making the petition with joy for your contribution to the evangel from the first day until now. Having the same confidence that he who undertakes a good work among you will be performing it until the day of Jesus Christ. Man, that's coming soon. Yeah. <clears throat> Philippians 4, 4 through 7. Be rejoicing in the Lord always. Again, I will declare, be re rejoicing. Let your lenience be known to all men. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, who that is superior to every frame of mind, shall be garrisoning your hearts. And your apprehensions in Christ Jesus. In Colossians 1, 9-12, Therefore we also, from the day in which we hear, do not cease praying for you, and requesting that you may be filled full with the realization of his will, and all wisdom and spiritual understanding. You to walk worthily <clears throat> of the Lord for all pleasing, bearing fruit in every good work, and growing in the realization of God. Being endued with all power, in accord with the might of his glory, for all endurance and patience with joy. <laughs> yeah. At the same time, giving thanks to the Father, who makes you competent for the part of the allotment of the saints in life. <laughs> makes us competent. First Thessalonians 3, 9 and 10. He's got a way to go with you. Oh, he's got... <laughs> <laughs> 
For what thanksgiving are we able to repay to God concerning you all, concerning for all the joy which has which we are rejoicing because of you in front of our God? Night and day, super excessively beseeching to see your face and to adjust the deficiencies of your faith. Second Thessalonians <laughs> 1, 3. We ought to be thanking God always concerning you, brethren, according as it is meet. And it's M-E-E-T, which means worthy. Mm -hmm. Seeing that your faith is flourishing and the love of each one of you all for one another is increasing. Second Thessalonians 2, 13 and 14. Now, we ought to be thanking God always concerning you, brethren, beloved by the Lord, seeing that God prefers you from the, from the beginning for salvation and holiness of the Spirit and faith in the truth, into which he also calls us through our evangel for the procuring the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Thessalonians 5, 15 through 24. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's a good one. I know it is. <laughs> See that no one may be rendering evil for evil to anyone, but also, but always pursue that which is good for one another as well as for all. Be rejoicing always. Yeah, be praying unintermittently. In everything, be giving thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Quench not the spirit, scorn not the prophecies, yet be testing all, retaining the ideal. From everything wicked to the perception, abstain. Now, may the God of peace himself be hallowing you holy, and may your unimpaired spirit and soul and body be kept blameless in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he who is calling you, who will be doing it also. Be rejoicing in the Lord again. Always, again, I, I will declare, be rejoicing. Let your lenience be known to all men. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, let your, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, that is superior to every frame of mind, shall be guaranteed your hearts and your apprehensions in Christ Jesus. For the rest, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is grave, Whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is agreeable, whatever is renowned, if there is any virtue and if any applause be taking these into account. And what you learned also and accepted and hear and perceived in me, this is Paul, these be putting into practice. And the grace of, and the God of grace will be with you. That's the Philippians 4, 4 through 9. So, we love you all. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. Yep. Man, that was a good study. I enjoyed that one. I enjoy yeah. all of them. <laughs> yeah. You're such a goofy. <laughs> yep. So, anyway, there's that. I was talking to Sterling just a little bit before we started this video. So, uh, he said Catherine and Liam's going to get a video, get a live stream going so what time is it it's five o'clock it'll so, be on then <clears throat> yep it must be started so i'll get this put together and, and get it uploaded maybe we'll watch that but anyway if y'all hadn't seen rob wild's video uh on thanks uh check it out it's really good so uh, it went right in with this study <laughs> it's pretty neat how god works things out but anyway we love you guys Yes, we do. Let's go see what God's got for us, shall we? And we'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Tomorrow. Lord willing. We'll see you then. <laughs>